Hey guys, this is Forsaken Reality here with the 14th episode of the Remnant tutorial series. In this episode, we're going to be setting up the auto fire. So I have a little showcase here. I'm going to show you what we're going to have. Basically, we'll have, you know, be able to aim, hold your trigger down and shoot your gun. We'll also be setting up auto fire. I mean, uh, burst fire in the next video. But we're going to start with this one for now. So without further ado, we will get into that. Just going to move this project off screen. And now first thing we're going to want to do is go to our blueprints folder. Items, weapons, and our master weapon. And we'll, all this is all really done in here. And we're simply just going to create a custom event called rate of fire. Fire rate, if you want to change it to that, set it to that. Fire, fire rate seems like a bit of a more suitable name. Save that. We're actually going to need a few variables. We're going to create those in our data table for our weapons. And the first one is going to be, I guess it's going to be one for now. Fire rate. So now we'll be able to set our fire rate per weapon per, in our data table. Each weapon we can go to. Just gonna put this above here. Now each weapon we can go to and set our fire rate. This. It's gonna set the fire rate on this weapon to 0.1 for my rifle. Now we can go back to our master weapon. And we want to get our weapon data. Break this. And we'll get our fire rate and we'll create a delay. Because it's going to delay depending on how long our fire rate is. And we're gonna need a branch. That's complete. We're gonna be checking if we're shooting. And the shooting variable we're actually gonna create in our character. Go sprint button pressed. And these three in here. Just like that. That was from the last video. Um This basically is going to be to be used to determine if we're shooting. And we're going to set the center input graph. We're going to go over here. And we're going to set this true if right here. Because we can't shoot unless we're aimed in remnant. And if we release the trigger, we'll set shooting false. And now that we have that done, we can come back here. Ah, we have a 
character reference set. Nope. So we're going to go to begin play. This will run when the weapon is created in the world each time. And we're going to cast to master character. Character. And we're just going to promote this to a variable. And that's going to be a character ref. And we'll just comment this whole thing, begin play. And remove this bubble. Now we can get our character. I'm just going to move this above. You know, I'll keep that above the weapon data. Character ref. Now we're going to check if we're shooting. And we are shooting. We're going to run the... server shoot event in our character so that'll run through all everything we need to go shooting and it'll run through here your weapon effects and it'll run everything replicated the way we need it get our weapon getting weapon effects so basically after we shoot it'll run through here uh i'm just going to finish plugging this setting this up first before i explain that actually so it'll make a little more sense so basically after we server shoot we'll want to loop around to our delay like this and i'm just gonna comment this fire rate for weapon so basically we'll check this after the fire rate the first fire rate delay and it doesn't want me to move it I know this happens sometimes you actually have to move the Thing that it's in, which is weird. Then I'll run the shoot and loop it. Where we're going to run this event because it's not actually playing now, it's going to go fire rate. And we're just going to simply run this after our first shot effects. So basically, now when we shoot. We'll click our button, it'll come through, it'll check if we're aiming, it'll set that we're shooting, we are aiming. It'll, it'll run the server shoot event, which comes into our application graph. that replicate the shooting, and then it'll, that goes to our gun, which where all of our shooting is actually handled. So it'll spawn our first bullet, it'll sh use the shooting effects, and then it'll run into our sh fire rate. So by the time we're down here, it'll run the fire rate. Uh, delay so we're still holding our mouse button and it does that means right here we're hold uh right here we're holding our mouse button so if we let go of it it'll obviously set this to false so if the delay runs through for our fire rate and we're still holding our mouse button it will shoot and it will run the server shoot it'll run through the stuff in the player game come through here shoot another bullet and it'll run back into the here and wait wait again for the delay and check for where we're still holding the shoot button and I'll keep doing that until you let go basically is how this is going to work and we should have everything set up to work and yep
Yeah. And this, when you're not, when you're aiming, you should be, that'll be mealing. So that's going to be it for this video, I believe. Um, yep, that's going to be it for this video. If you found this video helpful and you want to see more, don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button so you don't miss out on any new tutorial video uploads. If you have any questions, suggestions, or comments, feel free to leave those in the comments section below. Or uh, join my Discord community using the link in the description. Thank you, and I'll see you all next episode.